Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to cover a different type of tool. It's an electrical uh, troubleshooting tool. I used to work for a communications outfit years ago and um, did a lot of phone work and some um, data cable and camera wire and stuff like that. Um, and we use these extensively on the phone side. There's different names for them. Um, different companies have them. This was put out by a company called Tempo. I think I got this one out of Home Depot. Um, it's basically, it's a tone generator and a wand for listening. They have different names for them, um, like Fox and Hound, a lot of the guys call them. And, uh, but everybody makes them. In fact, as I was up at Home Depot the other day looking for one, and um, they carry, at least the stores by me are carrying the Fluke brand. And I want to say it was about 60 to $70 for it. It has two alligator clips, and it also has a... Uh, RJ11 uh, phone jack. You just plug in and clip it in. This is designed if you were troubleshooting a phone line in your house and you needed to know I've got this dead plug. Where does the wire show up in the basement? You would plug this into your phone jack. You would turn on your tone generator and then you turn your, you, there's a little button on your wand and you can hear it coming through the line and you would go in and find which wire it was and do your hookup. Now I've seen different people um, talk about these and, and some people have said that you, know, you can use these to find a short. Um, you can, but in the sense that if there's a short on the line, and I'll short these two alligator clips out, what it does is it forces, you'll get a little light on there, but it would kill your tone. You wouldn't have a tone on the, uh, on the line anymore when we turn the tone on and it's shorted out. You can see the alligator clips right there are tied together. And there's like next to no nothing is a very barely audible tone coming out. When I unshort it, real loud. Now, one of the things, um, I had a buddy of mine that was in a uh, mechanic and they use these sometimes on cars, on trailers, to troubleshoot wiring harnesses. Um, it's not exact but it, you can definitely use it this way. I've got just a short piece of foam cable here and what we're going to do is we're going to attach this to one of the pairs of wires in here and they refer to these as twisted pairs because the wires the color code of the blue wires, blue and the white wires are twisted together down the line and each color, there's four color codes in here, each one is an individual pair of wires twisted together and then bound by this jacket. So we're going to attach to the blue. Tone's on. So what we would do is coming down the line you can see here as I come out it dies off. And what it's doing now is it's picking up uh, the electrical fill from the lighting in here and everything, but you hear how it dies out as you come in. So if you were running this down a wiring harness, you'd be able to hear that tone, and then where the cut was, the tone would die out. Now that works if both lines are cut. If one line's cut, if one side of that, you know, I said there was a pair of wires, uh, the blue and the white blue wire, if only one of those was broken, the tone still goes through. I've tried using this tool um, outside of what it was designed for, which was working basically with the phone industry, and I've tried using it. You cannot hook it up to live electrical lines, it would blow it to pieces. Um, but I've hooked it up to deadlines, trying to trace things back. Sometimes I've had luck with it, but usually what ends up happening is you get this bleed over of noise because an electrical circuit in a house, everything is kind of daisy chained around and things are tied off and, and joints running off different, all different places where people decide to run another circuit down this way. So it, it really, and then what happens is in the end, in an electrical circuit in a house, all your stuff really ties back together at the panel on the common. So, because uh, there's an electrical panel in your house, you have a hot and a common wire, and I'll go into this in another video. But basically what happens is these are kind of useless for really trying to troubleshoot much in a house with the line voltage or 120 volts or uh, 240 volts. It, it really is not designed for that. So anybody that's pushing you to do it that way, I, I would kind of shy away from that. The very least you're going to do is probably damage a $70 tool and... The worst you would do is you might end up injuring yourself or, or hurt, hurting, uh, doing some damage to an electrical circuit. So, um, 
I, this tool here, like I said, a little, little side thing you can do to try and tra trace out a, um, a, bro a broken wire. But um, really what these are designed for is for troubleshooting uh, phone lines. So I wanted to throw that out there. I had seen some videos online about um, using these different ways. And some, like I said, some of the stuff out there I thought was kind of faulty information. Um, I, I saw a, one guy, he was saying how you could track electricity with it. Because if you can hear, I'll turn it up, hear that humming. You can do that in a wall. Like if you held it up against the drywall, you, you would hear humming if there was an electrical circuit there. But you really don't know which way things are going. It's really not, it, 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 there could be bleed over from a, something on the, in the other room coming through. Because this thing is pretty sensitive and it will pick up a lot of stuff. They have other tools that will um, do a better job at that than this would. So, all right, hope that helps you guys. Take care.